What's up guys, it's been a while, I'm going to give you a heads up on the world, vis-a-vis -vis tracks news as we like to call it. You got two major conflicts in the world, one in Israel, Gaza, and the other one in Ukraine. Still dragging on, still killing civilians, still killing young people, still killing uh, needless lives lost. As far as the world is concerned, they're turning against Israel. And uh, uh, with the propaganda and the free Palestine and the Hamas and so on and so forth. And I don't blame anybody who wants to stand up for the innocent lives lost in Gaza. I, don't, I completely understand that when you see the children and the footage that came out of there. It's horrific. But you have to respect something on the other hand. With constantly digging tunnels, firing rockets... Uh, wearing down and being the pawn of Iran cost these people their lives, right? They gave evacuation orders for children and people to get out of Rafa. They're leveling it. They're living through, through excruciating misery. You just got to deal with it. You got to respect the reality of it. What's the truth? The truth is you could take a place like Gaza and make it into something like Singapore. It's not a prison. It's not a concentration camp. It's a, it's a beach strip on the Mediterranean. And if you don't fire rockets and dig tunnels and get help from the rest of the Muslim world, you can have a fine life over there. You don't need Israel. You got a border, you got a fence, and so on. But people wanted revenge. They wanted to go to war. They wanted to kill the Jews, kill the Israelis. We hate them. We're going to push them. We're going to kill them. We're going to do this. We're going to do Hitler. We're going to do that. And they got into a war, and that's that. And you want to call it a genocide? You could call it a genocide. I don't know. Call it whatever the fuck you want. But if you're a reasonable human being that doesn't want to see people die, you're going to have to realize that you have a strip of land. You could use that strip of land. It's not in hell. It's on a beach. And you can have a fantastic life if you have a government that's not Hamas with their death to America, all this other and Iran funding and bullshit and all these schemes. But it doesn't matter because the world is filled with schemers. Instead of, instead of ending the war in Ukraine, they're testing out new weapons. And they're doing the same thing. They're wearing down the Russian military with a endless uh, cycle of violence that's that's going nowhere. So what do you have? You have your, what do you have? You have the fortune that you're not the one who's dying. You're not packing your family in the Gaza Strip and driving it somewhere out of Rafa, right? Most likely. Or you're not a you know some Israeli soldier coming in there or a hostage in some tunnel somewhere. You're, you're not in the Ukraine on the front lines or some Russian soldier conscripted or whatever it is. You're likely in America where there's a, its own type of decay with this uh, left-wing garbage that allowed all this to happen. And there's really not much to it, you know, for, as far as I'm concerned. I'm just minding my own business at this point in time, trying to make my dollar, take care of my uh, employees and my family and do some charity as best as I can and spread some education and knowledge. Um, and that's that. And wait for these things to unwind. We're looking for what's going to happen with the election. But the, the, the bright silver lining is, is the world is kind of tired and exhausted of bad news. And they're tired of this Joe Biden shit. They're waiting for America. China's so far keeping their mouth shut. They're realizing this is fucking stupid. These ideas are going nowhere. Taking Taiwan, taking this, taking that. So that's where the world is at. But the, the hands of the left wing WEF, World Economic Forum, George Soros, liberal elite pieces of shit are still trying to reach into your lives and make you eat insect protein. And that is something you're going to have to fucking deal with. So that's something you have to prepare for. And we're going to see how that goes as the future unwinds. And that's just your, your little update here from Tracks News.